As you've been in Kuala Lumpur all week, probably very intense again to deal with such a, a tragic, if it is tragic again, and a very unpleasant experience again. But what's the latest on the story? Well, John, the search has shifted to the Andaman Sea, hundreds of miles off uh, the flight path of MH370, and that's because the speculation, it flew west over Malaysia, well beyond the limits of Malaysia's radar. Now, two people familiar with the matter, they say that uh, there's more evidence, more and more evidence now that the plane... Uh, continued to fly even after comms were lost. In fact, they said that a satellite transmitter on the plane was active for five hours. That shows it was operational even after the transponder was turned off. Now, the authorities did say yesterday at the press conference that it is possible the plane continued to fly even after comms were lost, but they categorically denied, uh, refuted reports that Boeing and Rolls-Royce continued to get data even after comms were lost at 1.07 a.m. Take a listen. These issues have never been raised. Whenever there are new details, they must be corroborated. Since today's media reports, Mars has asked Rolls-Royce and Boeing specifically about the data. As far as Rolls-Royce and Boeing are concerned, those reports are inaccurate. Now, has, as the days pass, there appears to be an increased number of what they call armchair theorists with the general public also scanning satellite images for clues as well. I mean, what is this uh, bringing up for you? Well, John, in this day and age, it's not supposed to be a mystery. Everything is captured on satellite. If you have a, a question, you go to Google or you go to Twitter and you get an immediate answer. That's why this is so riveting. Uh, people are asking, how can a plane, a 777, go missing without any distress call, without any wreckage? And it does look like the world is getting involved in the search for this missing plane. Uh, Digital Globe, which is a satellite company, it says that about a million people have accessed its satellite images. Uh, this is what's called a crowdsourcing campaign. Volunteers, they comb through high-resolution satellite images. Once the objects are spotted, they are tagged. I mean, yellow dot for oil slick, red for uh, debris. So it does seem like the world is doing what it can. It wants to do what little it can to help look for the missing MH370.